both of you wrote reviews, which I read this morning. And it sounds to me like you're saying it's another step ahead in, in the race here. If you've got an Android phone that you generally like, you're probably not going to switch here. But you seem to like, Joanne, I'll go to you first. You guys seem to like the camera maybe a bit more even than you expected based on your initial takes at the event. Yeah, the, I mean, the camera uh, is definitely a big upgrade here, whether whatever phone you're actually coming from, whether it's from the last generation. I also did a lot of comparison testing for what I really think are the main, main people upgrading, iPhone 6s, iPhone 7s, giant leap ahead there. My takeaway, though, and Neil, I may disagree, is that the main reason to upgrade here is battery life, that I think that's where we're actually seeing the biggest leap, and that's what most people care about. Okay, so do you think that this is any different from your typical year of an iPhone upgrade? Because, yeah, the processor's always faster. The camera's always a little bit better. I mean, the battery life, there's something. I think battery life is huge. I actually agree with Trina there. I think this, is, this story here is the power of sort of reduced expectations. <laughs> like, Apple came on stage, and they didn't make any grandiose proclamations. They didn't say they were going to save the world. They didn't tell you that the digital crown was an input device on par with multi-touch, which is how they introduced the Apple Watch. Uh, they said the camera lasts a lot longer, the, uh, or the battery lasts a lot longer, the camera's better, the screen's brighter, this is going to work a little bit better. And all of those things are true. And I think just meeting those expectations, which Joanna has written about, are the things people care about, uh, is like, these phones are great. And I think if you want to buy a phone and wait out sort of the rocky 5G transition, the rocky next generation of hardware transition, these phones are going to last you a long time and they're going to be great doing it. Is it going to be rocky? Because most of the people who cover the company for the street argue that it's going to be manna from heaven next year. When we get 5G. Yeah. When we get the, the 2020 iPhone <laughs> yeah. from, from heaven. Yes. yes, when it lands right here. I mean, I think the 5G transition could be very rocky, just given the state of the carrier situation right now in the U.S. Um, but certainly Apple has some new tricks up their sleeve. They're now kind of moved to this tick, tick, talk refresh cycle, right? You get kind of three now, and then there's a big one. Um, I think that's definitely coming next year. As I wrote in my review, I think the toughest decision this year is if you bought that 10 a couple of years ago, right? Everyone rushed out to get that brand new 10, new face ID, new design. Now you're sort of like, okay, I need another new phone two, two years. Can I push it to three so I can get that 5G, so I can get that heaven sent iPhone 20 or whatever it's no, throw 12 your ten, Throw your year. 10 in the trash. That's, okay, dump that's, it. That's, that's, dump my, that's my answer. The 10 has a horrible camera. The one thing you can never buy, that you can never spend money on, is better pictures after the fact. If you have a kid, if you have a pet that you love, five I years from now, right, that's why I'm talking. <laughs> oh, well. if, if, right, you cannot go back and be like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some cash at this photo and make it better. It will never happen for you. Okay, so better camera, better battery life. What didn't you like about the phones? Uh, they're, they're boring. Right. I mean, like I'm a tech reviewer. It's my job to be like excited about technology and they're boring. They are. I mean, I think the iPhone 11 is basically the iPhone 10 RS, the iPhone Pro. There's nothing pro about this phone. Uh, what, is, what is, 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 did Johnny Ive maybe leave because there was nothing left for him to do? I mean, basically, they slapped another camera on the back of this thing. And then otherwise, if you had looked at an iPhone two years ago, you pretty much knew what this phone was going to look like. It, do you think we ever get back, Joanna, to the point where Apple's like radically blowing up the design of something? The, the iMac has another arm that's articulating or gets an ear or a nose or something. I mean, we used, to, we used to get those things. Or have we just kind of reached this level of good enough? Everything's a rectangle and it kind of works. And, yeah. I think we've reached that for sure on smartphones. And my personal opinion is that Johnny Ive left because they made these phones slightly thicker to make the battery <laughs> life better. And I'm pretty sure he rolled over when that happened. Uh, also, they redesigned the charger and it's a lot bigger too there. So this was not, I cannot imagine that made him happy. But I do think we're there with phones. I think uh, you know, it's very hard to get excited about a laptop upgrade. I mean, I personally personally get excited about that, but I'm, I'm a weirdo. Uh, and with phones, it's, I think we're heading to that same time. And whether it's glasses or, I don't know, maybe one day of a television set or whatever they want to make, I think that will be that next big thing that Apple people gather around and say, okay, they really redid this thing. I think that's true in this market, but Apple is a global company. So the phone, if you are, I, we've talked about this every time I'm here, you have iMessage. You are not going to switch away from iMessage. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not going to leave my friends behind because the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has smaller bezels than the iPhone. See, it's like, 
I mean, I want to, but He's like, just here to tell you he they've been friends. around. It's hard to make friends. I was going to say, how about you? Came but, came but, I came out here to friend. tell everybody friends. Yeah, yeah. My one, one friend. I'm not leaving Joanna behind. <laughs> but Apple has a huge market in China where there is no iMessage lock-in, and the phones are ultra competitive. The hardware designs are ultra competitive. The cameras are getting way better. And I think this camera in particular is a response to that pressure. Right. You can feel it. That's how they were talking about it. And I think that there's a little bit more to go in those markets where they are feeling that pressure.